everyone. Today we're going to do a walkthrough of the backdating features for subscriptions and invoices. So once it's, once it's been enabled, what you can do is navigate to the configure charge fee page, scroll down a little bit, and you'll find a new module for backdating subscriptions and invoices. So once we click on this, first we'll just need to click on enable. And then this will give us access to a bunch of different features and configurations. So the first one is to simply just choose the different actions that you'd like to have the ability to backdate. That includes things like actually creating the subscriptions, reactivations, making amendments such as upgrades or downgrades, cancellations of subscriptions, and then other one-time actions such as adding or removing one-time add-ons or charges. Uh, what we can also do is choose um, a, a date essentially um, for backdating. So if we don't want to have any uh, restrictions whatsoever, we can just leave it here or we can choose a specific uh, date of the month. And the reason why we have a limit of 10 here is because specifically for closing accounting books, the 10th of every month seems to be kind of that sweet spot. If you want to go beyond the 10th, you can just leave it as no restrictions here. Uh, what we can also do is choose four um, subscription creation and one-time actions, as well as subscription changes and cancellations. What we can choose to do is choose whether we want to also choose a date um, for which invoices can be added as a past date here. So we definitely recommend leaving these on um, as it just provides kind of additional flexibility here. So here, once we're done, we can click on apply and let's go ahead and test this out. So if we go to one of our customers here, I'm just going to click on this one that already exists. Now let's go into one of their existing subscriptions because what you could originally do with Chargebee is actually backdate subscription creation, but we couldn't do that for changes. So now we have the ability to do that. So if we go to one of our existing subscriptions here, I'll click on edit subscription. And we can see here that our subscription, it looks like it was, uh, it actually started on July uh, 27th, 2021. So what we can do here is if I wanted to backdate a change, let's say I'm going to change this price from 25 to 30. What I can now do is choose when that change is applied. So what we're gonna need to do is click on on specific date. And let's say that this change actually uh, happened yesterday, which is the 28th. So I'm just going to click on July 28th. So even though today is the 29th, I can still backdate that change because effectively what's happened is this change happened uh, yesterday. Okay. So what we can do now is we can click on update and proceed. And now we have effectively made a change to a subscription that really happened uh, in the past.